Oh, thank you, Jim. Yeah, so um, Casper and I have been excited for this game since the 2021 Wholesome Direct. And it was featured again in 2022. So we're very much looking forward to this. And I don't know if you saw, my camera was kind of blocking it, but the loading screen said, drink some water. And I definitely need that reminder. Your Samar, a witch tasked with returning wayward spirits to the realm unharmed. Today you're heading into town bright and early to visit your friends. Sorry, I can read, it's fine. News of Five Hag Vision, a very popular band kicking off their comeback. Shag Vision? Is that five supposed to be an S? I'm always bad when they put like numbers in the words. Shag Vision? Let's go with Shag Vision. Very popular band kicking off their new comeback tour here. Has everyone buzzing? Oh, let me update the, I can update my category on Twitch as well. Do -do -do. Wow, I'm really surprised they already had it. I'm very much digging the lo-fi beats. Okay. News of Shag Vision. Oh, I already read that. Has everyone buzzing? Before heading out, you decide to review the basics of spirit swapping on a whim. They've never appeared inside town, but why the heck not? It's time for a little practice. Can't go out into the world unprepared. Let's review the basics. Is that me? Look how cute she is with little horns and her headphones. Love it. Left up, right, down. I can focus on the two spirits I want to swap places with my cursor and use WASD to move it around. The horns, right? Look at that hair. It looks like vines. So cute. Once in position, time to swap them using space or J. Uh, not J. That is way far away from everything else. Okay, so... Okay, all right. Um, so we wanna do something like... That's a match three. Spirits are pretty heavy, so I can only swap them horizontally. The character movement, though. Listen, there. It's it's just a demo. I'm sure they'll add a little more animation. Maybe. I don't know. Remember, Samar, you can also swap spirits with an empty spot to move it into that spot. Thanks for the host, Gasper. And Gob, I saw you hosted earlier, but I didn't see the notification for it, but thank you. Let's try it out now. Okay, all right. Oh, they fall when there's an empty spot. Okay, all right, that makes sense. I'm still asleep. I know. There we go. 
When three or more identical sprites line up horizontally or vertically, that's a match. Oof, they return to their dimension. Let's kick it up a notch by matching more sprites at once. Okay, alright, alright. Big money. Also, y'all expect me to leave the fucking house when it's 80 degrees outside? That's fair. Yo, look how happy me and my froggy are. That we won. Easy peasy. I am a pro, after all. What if I use gravity to my advantage? Let's try swapping a sprite spirit uh, into an empty column where it will fall into a match. Might even trigger a domino effect of more matches as the first one clears. LSD Frog is happy. Yeah, it's a little weird that you can see through him, but I kind of love it. Ya Habibi. I don't know what that means. But I'm loving it. Samara, the sounds of cascading spirits. So satisfying. Bye, little buddies. Wombology, the study of Wombo. Yeah, we're watching uh, reruns of SpongeBob for some reason. And all the classic memes are coming up. It's good stuff. Ah, the sounds of cascading spirits. So satisfying. Bye, little buddies. Woo, making all these matches really filled up my spell meter full of magic power. Time to try using a spell for those big sexy clears. Oh yeah. I have my square spell equipped, so let's try it. First align four of the same spir spirits into a square, but make sure not to accidentally make a match. I did the thing. Every time you make a match, the spell meter on the left hand side of your board fills up a little. Spell meter is divided into four bars. Each spell costs one bar to cast. Love how the SpongeBob memes are just from the first couple years of the show, and the show is still running. I is it still running? Thought, I thought it ended at some point, but I don't know. There, it's perfect. The square spell clears the upper half of the board, so it's really handy to have one ready just in case I need it. Time to trigger that spell by hitting L or Shift. Uh, oh, so when you have a square of things, you hit uh, Shift. Ya yeah, Habibi. Quick refresher on spirit swapping. If you ever need a quick recap while you're swapping, the pause menu has you covered. Just use escape to pause the game and access its options, including a text tutorial. Happy swapping. All right, time to head into town. I should probably stop speaking to myself out loud, huh, Frogo? Frogo smiles and follows your lead. You decide to swing by the tattoo parlor and see what Leon is up to. It's a short walk from your house and impossible to miss thanks to the gigantic neon sign towering over the building. But don't forget to stretch. Why are these loading screens so wholesome? Drink water, don't forget to stretch. Yeah, we need... We need more reminders like that. Maybe I should create a timer in chat. Of drink water, take your medication. Posture check. Thank you, Nick. Upon entering the tattoo parlor, you see Leon sketching on a table nearby. He's busy at work while his radio plays in the background. And Hazel, his white bat familiars... Familiar with a Z at the end, okay. Sleeps next to it. You're 
not sure that they even notice you walking in. Hey Leon, what you working on? Ah, they scramble to cover up the sketchbook where you can see the outline of a fiery wing peeking out from behind his arm. Nothing. Alright, now you have to let me see it. Is it a new tattoo design? It's nothing, just a sketch. Some finite ink striking paper. I love characters with horns so much, but then you're really gonna love this game. I feel like they all have horns. While Leon tries to look as nonchalant as possible, you can hear the announcer on the radio much more clearly. And we should have clear skies for the rest of the week. Good thing, too with the Shag Vision concert happening so soon. It's probably five Hag, right? I bet there's five of them. Anyway. Our next song is 545, the new single they'll perform live for the first time this weekend. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be five Hag. The song starts and Leon quickly scrambles to change the station as the music abruptly switch, switches to rock. He managed to catch a peek at his full drawing. Aha! It's a half ink drawing of a phoenix. It's beautifully drawn with Leon's trademark line work and bold strokes. It's also noticeably a lot brighter and more vibrant than his usual work. In fact, it reminds you of something. Let me guess, this was inspired by that one man, member of Five Hag Vision, Citrine, right? The Rocking Phoenix? Or is there another Rocking Phoenix making a tour, stopping in town soon? Yo, is that the trans flag on the pole behind her? Dig it. You can't fool me, Leon. Perhaps it is Citrine inspired. He takes some of the papers on the table and fans them out, displaying a wide variety of small designs. They're each clearly inspired by one of the five members of the group. You also see that there are significantly more designs inspired by Phoenixes. I figured I might create some new flash designs for the concert coming up. Is this the first time Five Hag Vision will be in our town, after all? He grabs the paper with the design he was working on before moving it on top of the other sketches. So this one feels too complex for a flash design. It may end up becoming a print instead. Ooh, you could watch it. Uh, or you could use it for the invites to our concert watch party. That'd be perfect. I guess so. I kind of want to gift it to Citrine, though. Wait, are you saying you managed to get tickets despite the concert being sold out for months? No. Maybe. Well, he looks to the side, embarrassed. Have you heard anything about VIP passes? No. He leans forward eagerly. It's probably just a rumor, but... I hear that there are some extra VIP passes available that allow you to go to the concert and backstage and meet the band. I I would do anything to meet Citrine. Their brooding nature perfectly contrasts their bright Phoenix attire. Did you know they designed their car guitar on their own? They've co-written some of their lyrics for their biggest hits. And they've collaborated on a makeup collection with Beryl. They compose all their solo chords. You cut them off before you can regale you with the full encyclopedia of Citrine facts. Based on sunsets they've seen. Yeah, I heard an interview with them on the radio. I had no idea you were such a big fan, Leon. Well, I wouldn't say I'm that big a fan. I mean, it makes sense. They're super passionate about their craft, and so are you. Leon blushes bright red. Ha, huh, I guess so. But Citrine, they're a big inspiration to me and my art. To be able to actually meet them. But of course I would have to locate a VIP ticket first. Hmm, I bet we could find Hazel the Bat lets out a loud squeak as they're knocked from the perch by the radio. 
Matthew and Leon look up to see a spirit block manifesting where they were previously napping. Another spirit appeared falling on the radio, and another spirit pops in soon after it. Then another, and another, and another. Spirits? How did they get in here? We're within the city barrier. More spirits appear out of thin air, scattering pages of Leon's sketches all over the floor. Ah, my work! Don't worry, we can clean them up together. Let's make a game out of it, see who's faster. This doesn't seem like a fair fight, but you're on. Time for a friendly bout of spirit swapping with Leon. Two player matches work largely the same, except as you make matches, you'll send garbage to each other's boards. Matching adjacent to it will clear it. Spells also clear garbage. Don't let your board fill up or Leon wins. Happy swapping. Go, swap up. Uh, is there... Oh, okay. It doesn't look like there's a time thingy, but there's also not, not a time thing. Thanks for the host, Rob. Yes, it's very chill. What was that about? Leon, you are right? I'm fine. Thanks for the help, Samar. Of course, it's literally my job. But it's weird. I didn't think spirits could get into our town proper like this. Odd. I didn't think so either don't know what's happening, then something strange is definitely afoot. You're right, something must be up with the magical barrier that protects the town. I should look around town before heading home. They've never appeared like this before. I think it's worth investigating a little more. Hey, if you're not heading home, maybe you could swing by Moe's apartment. She's been a little upset since the breakup. I think seeing you is just what she needs. She hasn't said anything to me about that. Thanks for the heads up, Leon. Good luck with your designs. It's okay if something strange is afoot, as long as it isn't a hand. Yeah, exactly. You need both of your hands. Something strange can be afoot. The two of you bid farewell and exit Leon's par parlor, Frogo in tow. You make your way over to Moe's apartment. It's one of your favorite places, second only to Lulu's bakery slash coffee shop. One moment. Well, that's not as wholesome. The other loading screens told you to stretch and drink water. <laughs> this one is just like, wait while we fucking load, bitch. You've been friends with Moe since you were kids. Her specialty is herbal concoctions, potions, and teas. You used to get in a lot of trouble for brewing the weirdest stuff you could come up with together. Practically inseparable. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> to think she's been hiding her true feelings over her recent breakup for you. From you. Try not to think too much of it as you make your way up the stairs to her unit. Her place is as elaborate and dramatic as ever. You call out to her as that you enter her apartment. Mo, 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 mo. Most familiar, want, wanna? A translucent python full of purple liquid 
peppered with golden charms, wraps around your leg in greeting. No, no, no thanks. Frogo trills in response, seemingly appreciative. Oh, hey, Guana. Is Mo here? There you are. I thought you wandered off outside again. Mo appears out of a cloud of smoke, and Wana quickly slithers in her direction. Samara, hey. Hey, you. Almost gave me a heart attack just popping out of nowhere like that. Mo laughs it off, shrugging an apology. You can't help but melt at the sight. It's practically impossible not to. Okay, your hair is gorge. Did you do it yourself? Mostly. Kadishi helped in the back when they weren't messing with some gadget. It took forever, but we made it work. She beams at you and beckons you into her living room. You sit down on the, on the luxurious couch. Maybe Leon was wrong. So, what have you been up to? Nothing much. What about you? You frown as she deflects the question, but you decide to go along with it for now. I just came from Leon's. While I was there, some spirits showed up out of nowhere. It was really weird. Oh wow, yeah. I also just had to swap some out of my bathroom. Wait, what? Why is she so cheerful about that? It seems a little weird. Forced, even. Spirits were just bursting out of my bathtub. It was wild. Uh, you're being very casual about this. As she talks, you see stray movement out of the corner of her, uh, out of the corner of your eye, a few feet behind her. The bathroom door creaks open, and a pile of spirits tumble into the hallway. Uh, Mo, I don't think you got all of them. What? He point to the hallway where the spirits are now flooding out of the bathroom. Her cheerful mask finally slips and she all but snarls at the sight of the colorful, uninvited blobs ruining her decor. Ah, just what I needed, as if today wasn't enough of a pain in my redacted. <laughs> Gotta keep it wholesome, I guess. Don't worry, Habidi. We got this. Let's swap them out of here. We have verses. Fight. You literally fight. Okay. Shit. I meant, I meant to swap it the other way. God damn it. Thank you. Two of you relax back on the couch after you finally managed to clear the hallway. We did a... Mo smiles gratefully. You were the master swapper. Ooh, except I lost. So, I guess I'm not the master swapper. Poof. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna get Leon to tattoo that on my chest. You both start laughing at the absurdity of that. You can almost sense the tension leaving Mo's body in real time. How long had she been holding back? Anyway, back to work for me, I'm afraid. Hope the rest of your chill times are great. Thanks for stopping in, Rob. Hope work goes well for you. The giggle fit subsides, and you spot the faintest hint of melancholy beneath her lingering smile. You pause, unsure how to gently phrase the question you're trying to ask. Hey, Mo, are you okay? You're like... You're being super positive, like super duper positive. You backtrack quickly. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being positive. I'm all for positivity. But for you, it's kind of weird. No offense. 
considering, you know, the breakup, I'm a little worried, to be honest. Mo doesn't speak for a moment. Her shoulders tense and relax a few times, like she's mulling something over. Those few seconds feel like a millennia, but she finally sighs. She turns to look at you with an almost resigned smile. It was kind of, I, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't notice. I suppose I'm worse at faking this than I thought. She sounds calmer, more like her usual self, but you hear a slight tremor to her voice as she works her hardest to hide how upset she's been. It's pretty hard to fake it around your best friend. I know you better than the ingredients to my fave drink at Pumpkin Peanuts. Mo laughs a little despite herself. You smile softly and take one of their hands in yours. I'm here for you, Mo, for when you're happy and when you're not. We're friends through the good times and the bad. I want to do what I can to help you. But if you're not ready to talk about it yet, that's okay too. Mo squeezes your hand and offers you a small smile. Thanks, Samara. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Before you ask, is it about the breakup? Before you ask, is it about the breakup? I guess I still need to process why I feel this way. Hey, 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 Mo. You know you're my bestie. You can tell me anything whenever you want. Go outside, bud. Even if it's a whole year from now, I'll still listen. Whenever you're ready, my headphones are off and my ears are open. Me metaphorically, I'm listening to music right now. Mo hugs you. You hug her back, squeezing affectionately. Thank you, Samara. You know I appreciate it. You know it. I think I want some time to myself for now. Just to think. Sorry for being a bad host. I didn't even offer you tea or anything, and now you cut her off unnecessarily. You cut off her unnecessary apology playfully. Hey, you have nothing to apologize for. Tea can wait. Your well being is way more important than any bestie hangout sesh. Just let me know when you're ready to chill again. Of course, I promise I'll see you soon, Samar. See you later, Moes. The two of you hug again before saying goodbye. She hangs on for a couple seconds more than she normally would. You make sure there are no lingering spirits anywhere before you head out. <laughs> Just a sec. All right, well, I'm gonna drink some water anyway, even though you didn't tell me to this time loading screen. It's okay. in town. Does Leon know where to get those secret VIP passes to the concert? Why would Mo hide her sadness from her best friend? You'll have to get to the bottom of it all and keep doing your job of, of getting spirits back to where they belong. By the time you're back to your cozy little house in the forest, it's already nighttime. Answers will have to wait for the morning. Right now, you'll happily settle for a hot shower and some sleep. That's a wrap. That's it for the demo. If you enjoyed what we do, take a moment to fill out our quick feedback survey. It'll help us immensely. Be sure to wishlist the game on Steam to get all our updates and notifications as we work on the game. Thanks for playing. I have already wishlisted the game. Let's see, does this open in a web page? I can save for later. It does, sweet. So I'll fill that out after stream. But that was it for the spirit swap demo. Again, adorable, loved the art style. Characters seem cute. Right up my alley. 
And I love the fact that even if you lost in that swapping game, the plot just still kept progressing. So even if you're bad at these games, you can still keep going, which I really appreciate because I'm bad at a lot of games. Spoiler alert. But yeah, that's another game on my wish list from the Wholesome Direct for the last couple years. And I'm very much looking forward to being able to play that. Alright, so let's go ahead and quit out of that.